Good Hello. Good morning. Bright and early. Oh, Theo doesn't have a diaper on right now. But you can't say anything, can you? No. Oh, don't stand. No, don't stand when you're naked. Oh, you're doing a bear crawl. Get a full day of eating. Ah. It is 7.30. Matt's gonna make coffee. I've grown a beard since you guys last saw me. So a while ago I announced I was running the beginning of the year, right? That was like my beginning of the year yeah. goal, goal. And then like I kind of just fell off. I actually went to the doctor and they were like, your hips are really like not in great shape. Running's not good for you. So I was like, okay. It was a good excuse to just quit running because running sucks. But then I got back into it and I've been doing couch to 5K. I'm in my sixth week right now, so. In two weeks, the plan is to run a 5K, and man, it's nice. I'm not like a, an official runner, I wouldn't say that yet, but like I do get the runner's high when I do like a nice long run. The longest run I've done is 20 minutes straight, but I'm proud of that. One of the first things that advice that people gave us when they found out we were having a son was you need to list a little teepee thing that covers his pee pee yeah. <laughs> when you change his diaper. diaper. He's we, never peed on us one time. It's happened once and it's because it's the diaper was off for like an hour. I think it's one of those things that first time parents buy and they're like, oh, we're gonna need this. I saw it being sold and I was like, yeah. they're, they can get us. In here I just have coconut milk and some of this. It's basically a coffee flavoring that also has L-theanine and like cinnamon in it. It tastes pretty good. It has some stevia too. So every morning, Theo hangs out in this little guy right here, hey. my sous chef, hey. while I make eggs cooked in butter. And he also like has a couple bites of butter on its own. It's his favorite. One, one to two eggs. I use liquid eggs and then just salt and butter, super simple. And we've been practicing with utensils. So he's getting good at using a fork. But it's breakfast time. A little hot though. Mm -hmm. Too hungry, too hungry. Mmm. And while Theo has breakfast, I make my coffee. It's just instant coffee with some of this nut pods creamer, or the French vanilla one is my favorite. And I put some stevia in there. I haven't been hungry lately now that I'm nursing less in the morning, so this really just keeps me satisfied for quite a while. So I'm cooking up breakfast for Matt right here. We got sausages and eggs. And these are the sausages we got yesterday. These are the sausages we got yesterday at Whole Foods. You, it seems like you know a little bit about SEO just based on your writing style and stuff. I read through some of your posts. So it's not a completely foreign concept to you. And it's, we're not that good at it, but we're starting to understand that it is essential. So three eggs and five sausages. You said it's a typical English breakfast and I said there's no beans. I'm probably gonna need more than this though. So I'll find some other stuff too. But uh, just had an interview with potential employee. Normally I would do a meal like that, like a big one, but I'm gonna run some errands, get out of the house. So I made just like a bulletproof coffee. It has chocolate collagen in it and it has heavy cream and I haven't been doing dairy at all. So I thought I'd just put some cream in here and it's just so good. But I usually use canned coconut milk. So yeah, there's just a bulletproof coffee in here. I'm gonna take that while I go. Right now I am prepping our meals for the week, which I usually do on Sunday, but I didn't have time yesterday. Tonight we're gonna do Instant Pot chicken curry, which you guys will see. Tomorrow we're gonna do scallops and asparagus. Wednesday we're gonna do a teriyaki ground beef with broccoli and carrots. Thursday, we're gonna do bell pepper slash pork rind nachos. And then Friday, I think is up in the air. We might do like a game night with my brother and his gal friend. We are right outside of Sprouts and I've been shopping here a lot more. It's definitely my favorite. Like I definitely prefer it to Whole Foods now as far as products go. I think the quality, in just like my personal opinion, the quality of maybe the veggies and the meats are better at Whole Foods, but Sprouts carries the milk we like to get for Theo. So if we can't get any raw milk, we'll always go for just pasteurized instead of just instead of ultra pasteurized. So they have a pasteurized milk here, and then they have um, a non-fortified goat milk here. So I get one of those two depending on which they have. And then they literally have every single new product as far as keto goes, as far as paleo goes, like any diet. They have all of them at Sprouts. So if you're on the search for something like a new bar. 
um, check out Sprouts because they're going to have it. They have like these breadless breakfast sandwiches that Matt's been eating. They're super good too. They're by Reds, the Reds brand. I'll actually show you. So I'm going to go inside right now, get a bunch of stuff, but I wanted to do this pre-log type of thing because I don't want to fully film in there yet. I don't know how people are, how they feel about it, given like the current state. So I got my mask, Mrs. Uh, Gadke. So Matt's mom made these for us and they're so cute. Um, and they're so much more breathable. So if you can't breathe in your mask, you should definitely find one you can breathe in because if you're wearing it for a long time and you can't breathe, it's just like, it's like bad. Say hi. Mega's back from the store. I got a bunch of stuff, so I figured I'll share. So these are new chicken crisps by Epic. These are very new. These Whoa. just came out and they had them in store. So they have cheesecakes, Enlighten made those, and then they made dough, cookie dough bites. And we're gonna do both of these in the mail time review. Kiss My Keto has cookies, I guess. I got butter ones, so we could try those. Theo's favorite snack, of course. Whoa. They're just egg white wraps, and the ingredients are egg whites, xanthan gum, and salt. So just oh, So we could remake that. Yeah, but they, they have, this is this was a part of their whole section. They have a bunch of chicken for tonight. So I showed the breakfast sandwiches that we've been getting that you really like. So Red's also does this rice cauliflower chicken tikka masala bowl. Um, and it's... This is all from Sprouts? All from Sprouts, literally is everything. They always get the new stuff in. So this is eight net carbs for this bowl. So I thought we could try this for the segment, review segment two. We, I always get some of these. Matt loves these ZV energy drinks. And then I really like these for a quick fix. Super coffee. Yeah. And then I like to get this sometimes. It's just like a protein snack box. So for tomorrow for lunch, I'm gonna have this and it's super filling. Home Depot, and this is the color uh, I'm painting the front Whoa. door. That's intense, okay. Yeah. I was talking to our neighbor who's like a designer house person. We're gonna do a chrome finish uh, for like the fixtures. And I was thinking like chrome is like the normal one, like the one we have already, but what we have is nickel. Chrome is like really, really bright like a mirror. Yeah, you know? chrome looks cheap. No, she said it's gonna look really good. Chrome's the cheap stuff. I guess I'll take pictures and then you can help me decide, but. Are you painting or is it like we painting? No, I'm painting. Okay. This is my thing. Okay. We are about to record a podcast that is gonna be on how many carbs should you eat? And we're also gonna go over some recent studies and articles and just the happenings lately. And it looks like Meg is eating a bar. Yeah, I'm about to have this. An epic bar. So it is 4 p.m. right now. So I'm prepping dinner because we have swim class tonight. So we're going to do some chicken breast. And I got some thighs that I'm going to take the skin off but keep the bone in. And I'm going to plop that in the Instant Pot with our chicken curry. So this is the veggie that's going to go in there. So Mega forgot to inform me we have swimming lessons tonight. <laughs> Whoa. This is why our cameras don't work. Theo, Jeeb. No. Oh. You sure it's done? Yeah. Look, good job. He's learning Gujarati. Theo, blow kisses. Blow Theo. kisses. Yeah, good job. We're back from swimming. Mega's putting the finishing touches on this curry and she's putting coconut milk in it, right? Yeah, canned coconut. So this is the base, because Matt loves just a ton of tomato in his curries. That's the base and very important actually, guys. This brand, or I don't know if it's a brand or it's a style, but San Marzano tomatoes, they're so much better than just normal canned tomatoes. Do you agree? I don't know. I don't know the difference. And then we use thickening agent, a little bit of our root. You can use xanthan gum as well. Yeah, so these are like, I guess, some things we change because Theo eats it too. Like, yeah. I wouldn't want to thicken it with xanthan gum because I don't know what that'll do to his tummy. Yeah, for sure. So like this, it has more carbs, arrowroot flour, but it's like a more natural alternative. I don't even know how xanthan gum's made. Is it, it is natural probably? 
I don't know, but it definitely can upset your tummy. Yeah. So here's what dinner's looking like. And here's what Theo's going to have. Yeah. They just spread it on a plate so it's um not hot. So Theo is 14 months old. Officially today. And what he eats, I guess it's easier to say just what, what he hasn't eaten yet or what he doesn't eat and what we like when we plan on having those. So I guess the only thing he hasn't eaten, or we just gave him peanut butter like mm -hmm. two days ago for the first time. Yeah, two days ago. The doctors tell you it's good to give him peanut butter when they're like four months old, Within the first six year. months old. Yeah. Seems a bit aggressive to me. So we just took our time with it. I mean, I probably rushed it. Matt would have waited longer for the peanut butter. Look, he got it on the fork. Yay! Yeah, he uses a fork all the time. He's really advanced with his utensil skills. He's really behind with his walking. Or I guess what doesn't he eat? He doesn't eat any grains. He doesn't eat nuts in high amounts, but he's tasted a few different types of nuts. He's just tasted everything, just to make sure he's fine with it. So for carbs, he eats berries. He eats his puffs all the time, which are they're made from like cassava, I think, right? Yep. He eats fruit, pouches. Potatoes. Potatoes, sweet potatoes. Just basically like whole food carbs. He doesn't eat a lot of cruciferous and like leafy vegetables. Though. He loved. We went to Longhorn Steakhouse though on Monday. Or and he, ate, he was he like going to town on broccoli. The broccoli, but it was really soft and it was like buttery. Yeah, he doesn't eat like spinach or like kale or anything like that. I guess is one thing. He eats a lot of dairy, like a good bit of dairy. I'll show you one thing we got him recently that I was like borderline on whether I should feed this to him or not, but I, I went for it anyway. So I guess when you first have a kid, you more have like all these ideals that you wanna adhere to, but then you start like not doing all of them. 100%. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so that's kind of what happens. But oh, it doesn't have the nutrition on it. Yeah. But we got him one of these. It's called Petty Pot. It's really good ingredients. It's heavy cream. Like, heavy cream egg yolks are the first two ingredients. Organic vanilla. But inside of this, there was how much sugar? 14. 14 grams of added sugar for sweetness. So it's like a sweet pudding thing, but it's really good ingredients. So I was like, I think that's fine. Oh, it's 14 total carbs. So, so maybe like 12 grams of sugar or something. A lot of the game is not just like optimal nutrition. It's also getting them to eat stuff. So like this, he loves. Yeah, we don't, we, we give him like maybe a sixth of it per, at, for a serving. Yeah. In this curry, we have one sweet potato also, which is something we've been doing a little bit more lately. Exposing it to Theo. It just naturally comes into our diet. Yeah, I mean, if we really wanted to be strict about it though, it doesn't have to come into our diet. We could avoid it. A lot of parents do that, like the mom's trying to do keto, the family's not. We probably have sweet potatoes or like some kind of carb, like more of a high carb food, like yucca, sweet potato, uh, plantains maybe sometimes. I think those are the main three. Like once a week-ish, but we really don't plan it and we don't like think too much about it. It's usually like those nights, maybe 50 to 100 grams of total carbs each. And I have tested my ketones, which maybe that will be the end of this video. I'll test my ketones tomorrow morning just to show you guys what they do. But for me, surprisingly, I'm like pretty much always in ketosis, even Same. with stuff like this. Yeah. But I don't know if that will happen for everyone. It's probably because I'm like a healthy weight. I've been doing this for four or five years. That might be it. So, you know, miles may vary. I don't, My, mileage? Likes, I don't think he likes the potato. Is it miles may vary or mileage may vary? I don't know. Mileage may vary. I've never heard of that saying. Theo and I are sharing some after dinner blueberries. And I'm having one of these marigold bars. So when I give him his blueberry, I make sure to squish it. Mm. Yum. And there are these new bars that we've been getting. I think they just came out. We're gonna do a mail time segment on them. There's these, which are the original Bulletproof bars uh, that are pretty high in carbs. They're like nine net carbs. So this one you can see is eight net carbs. These are the original ones, but there's these new ones, which actually taste a lot better. I would say, Mega says they taste a little worse. They're only four net carbs. One year review of having a child, what do you think? Best and hardest thing in the world. I mean, they, they do like 10 day amazing races. That is a walk in the park compared to having a child, right? I don't know, I've never done one. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't survive one, but I guess I'm surviving more than... He just wants to nurse nonstop. <laughs> He's very demanding. It's amazing to watch him grow and change into like, I feel like he's like a little boy now, don't you? Yeah. I think it's great. I would give it a 10 out of 10. But it's easy to like, once you have the kid, you can't really give it like a 2 out of 10, can you? You can, but you shouldn't say that on camera yeah. and put it on the internet. Okay, Theo, say bye. Oh, say I'm gonna, bye. I'm going to have a bulletproof bar, one of the bars that Matt showed you earlier. Say bye. Theo, say bye. bye. See you next time. Bye.